hello Janine, it's really great to see you here. And I just want to say from the off that um, you're the reporter I'd have loved to be in another braver life. I just didn't have the guts to do it. I mean, uh, you really have been all over the place. Um, you know, you've reported on what, the Palestinian Intifada, you've been in you're all over the Middle East, all the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, you've been in Africa, Somalia, some of the, you know, Sierra Leone, the own, some of the most dangerous places in the world. So why did you do it and I didn't? What motivated you to be that intrepid? I, I absolutely did not want to be a journalist. Um, it, it's really interesting. I mean, I, I always wanted to be a writer, but I, I didn't have this kind of burning desire, as many of my colleagues have, to be a reporter. Um, I mean, my career basically started, I, I started as an academic, and it's interesting because now this kind of full circle of my life, I'm, I'm an academic again, um, having worked for, for 30 years in the field. I, what, what really started me was um, I saw a newspaper article um, in the time of the first intifada, which is uprising in Arabic, um, in Palestine. And it was about a Jewish lawyer who was a Holocaust survivor, who at that time was the only lawyer defending uh, Palestinians in military court. And I read this article about her and it, it just, her courage, her, her quest for justice, her ability to, to work and, and, and often not win any cases. Maybe she won very few cases, but to still do it um, really did something to me. It changed my life entirely. So I flew to Israel, I met her, she was called Felicia Langer, and she mentored me. Um, basically, she sent me to the West Bank and to Gaza, the Gaza Strip during the first intifada. I had no idea how to be a reporter, I really didn't. Um, I, had, I had no training courses, I knew how to be an academic, I knew how to write, um, but I didn't know how to ask questions, I didn't know how to take care of myself. Anyway, you, you either sink or swim, and I, um, I swam. 